One of the great new features in Sublime Text 4 is the ability to theme the title bar. This is something that was available in Sublime Text 3, but only on macOS. It now works on other operating systems as well. However, by default, it only works in themes that support the particular setting, and right now that's officially only the adaptive theme. So, what do you do if you're using some other theme and you'd like to have a themed title bar? Today, we're going to show you how to do that. Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odan here, and welcome to this week's video on customizing the title bar in your Sublime Text 4 installation. Now if you're a user of Sublime Text 3, this support was already available but only under macOS. Sublime Text 4, however, brings this support to other operating systems as well. However, by default, the setting for this themed title bar only works for the adaptive theme, and that's because, as we covered in a previous video on the channel, the theme you use has to support this particular setting, and only the adaptive theme does so. So, what do you do if you want to have a themed title bar in some other theme, such as the default theme that also ships with Sublime Text, or some third-party theme? Well, you need to make a very easy tweak to your theme, and with other functionality that was added in Sublime Text 4, that is also very easy as well, and today, we're going to show you how to do that. Now, what we're going to be covering here today is primarily for Windows and Mac OS users. If you're a Linux user, what we're doing here isn't going to directly have any impact, but there are settings that you can use to change the title bar under your Linux distribution as well. So keep watching to the end of the video, and we'll tell you how to do that. Sublime Text 4 has some additional functionality that makes it easier than ever before to tweak your theme, unless you were using the package dev package, which I still highly recommend, and there's a video on that down in the description below this video. But all you have to do is go to the command palette and choose the customize theme option, and a split window will open up similar to the ones that you can get for customizing color schemes or for settings or for key bindings. Your theme is going to be on the left, and a file will be created on the right or loaded if you've already customized your theme somewhat, and all you have to do is add a rule similar to this one. This uh, targets the title bar, makes sure that this only applies when the setting is actually applied, and applies a foreground and background color. You can tweak these as appropriate for however uh, you want your particular theme to look. And this is all you have to do. All you have to do is save this file, and as soon as you do, you can see the theme changing the title bar right up above. And of course, again, you can change the colors of these if you would like. On the flip side, you may be using a theme that has a customized title bar and you don't want it. For example, if you're using something that was a theme from Sublime Text 3 that had this rule that on Sublime Text 3 under Windows wouldn't have done anything. It would only have had any effect on Mac OS and now you're on a Windows system and it's not doing what you want. So that's very easy to fix as well. Instead of applying the foreground and background color, you just apply this setting and we can set this to one of three different values. You can set this to light if you want to have a light colored title bar, a dark if you'd like to have a dark colored title bar, or if you like, you can set this to system which will set the value to whatever the system thinks the appropriate color should be. This honors your operating system's uh, accent color settings. And for those Linux users out there, such as myself, you may put this in your theme and discover that it has no effect whatsoever unless you use Sublime Text across multiple different operating systems. So what do we do in that case? Well, the way that your title bar looks in under Linux is controlled by your window manager, and Sublime actually has support for this. If it detects that you're using the GNOME window manager, it will style the title bar of the window using customized rules. However, if it detects that you're not using GNOME, it won't do that, even if you perhaps are using GNOME, but it doesn't correctly auto-detect it. On the flip side of the flip side, perhaps you actually want this to happen and you're not using GNOME, and this is controlled by this setting right here, GTK Client Side Window Decoration. If you like and you're using uh, Linux, you can set this in your user preferences, set it to true to turn them on or false to turn them off. And once you change the value of the setting, you need to quit and restart Sublime for it to take effect. But you'll see here that right now I have this setting turned on under my Linux and I have a custom title bar on my window. But if I was to set this to false, quit Sublime Text and restart it, what we end up with is the native window decorations for this particular window manager that I am using. And whether you want to have a customized title bar or not across any of the operating systems that Sublime Text supports, this video showed you how you could actually do that very thing. And hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please use those buttons down below the video to show your support and thumbs subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon as you deem appropriate. And uh, we'll be back next week with another Sublime Text tutorial video, not quite as quick as this one because hopefully the heat wave will be over. And until then, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.